speaking of beautiful things but also i just want to say from a production standpoint guys we fucking done it again we talked for 40 minutes straight damn How do we do? <laughs> guys because patreon guys like we we we, you know we do prepare topics but for patreon we always say like we're just gonna go and now look at us we've done it again (laughs) so this will i guess this could be the last thing or i don't know if say want to talk about something but beautiful moments beautiful weekend i just moved my little sister into college this past uh, i mean the past few days we took a road trip to virginia she's going to university of virginia she is a smart girl she got a full ride scholarship wow Um, you know i didn't i didn't (laughs) know i didn't know uva was such a good school like i had no idea but every time i tell people that she's going to uva they're like what the fuck like smart girl but anyway she's brilliant or whatever and so i don't know it was just so crazy because like I did, you know, I'm very dramatic. I'm very sentimental, but like, I was, I just remember her. She was born, um, I think she was born two months premature. So she was born three pounds. Wow. She was in the incubator. I remember that because I was old enough. I was 10 years old. I was old enough. I remember all of that. And now she's just this like full grown, beautiful, like smart girl that's living. Like, it's just such a fucking trip. And like, I don't have to go all into like, uh the specifics it was just very nostalgic walking around a beautiful campus i went to syracuse like it was just so i remember how fun that time was freshman year i'm excited for her but like i guess like the what i want to talk to you guys about was like i thought i was gonna cry i was like walking into it like i told everybody i told my friends i was like oh my god i can't wait to cry all day and just oh my gosh (laughs) because i love crying over my sister i love it (laughs) <laughs> but like I didn't I didn't cry at all. I was really? good. I was just like the cool older sister helping her move in. My mom, oh my god, guys, like lost it. She was a mess. Like she obviously <laughs> did the whole like saying goodbye and crying. But like us driving off, like she was in the back seat, like sobbing. It was actually really sad. Like it was very, it was really bad. Like I just like, yeah. I want to mention it because it's like the pain of like seeing your mom cry is like not easy. It's not easy. So like, Damn, I didn't know you was going here with it. Dude. Not easy. I don't know. And I'll, okay, so I have I came prepared with you know because I just can't talk about like my experience for like ten minutes. But like with Alex, I want to ask him like. Yeah. How was it like? Because you had a single mom. It's just you and her, and then yeah. wait, did you did you dorm? I did dorm. Okay, I so did. so like yeah. le- like when you were going off to college, like it yeah. was just you and her for eighteen years. Like I wanted yeah. to know what it's like for her. Like was that tough for you? And then Savon, being the oldest of fifty siblings, like <laughs> was it was it ever hard? Like I know your sister. Like you're in the same situation as me. Like she went off to college. You had to like let her go. And like how was it for you guys? That that uh, this type of experience. Oh, man. Well, you know, I'm Nigerian. So my mother was like, okay, go to school. I'll see you later. So, you know, I are you serious? My, I'm dead serious. Let me tell you about my mom, man. I'm telling you about my mom. I this whole cute thing with mother and son. <laughs> no, but I got something for you. My mom is one of those people that doesn't really like to show her emotions. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I was only like 30, 40 minutes away as well. She just oh, my God. Me. Okay, fine. Yeah, but I had some scholarship <laughs> money. I had some scholarship money. There you go, Fred. You know, it wasn't no full rod. So I was like, you know what? I'll use that towards that and get, take that experience. Again, my mom is very African and old school. Her thinking is, if you are going to school, you must be in school. <laughs> you can't be at home and be going to school. It's not making sense. It's, so, it's, not, it's not making sense. Uh, and then when she would say it, I'd be like, you might be on to something. Right? <laughs> if you're in school, oh my be God. in school. <laughs> so, be like at the school. Be like at the school. Wait, so it wasn't like... Hard for her, like, oh my god, my one and only son. It wasn't like that. Hell no, bro. My mom is a oh gangster. My t- but 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 I think when she got home in her in the privacy of her room in the corridors of her hallways, she got a little tear jerk ago. My mom was one of the she don't like to show it because I felt yeah. like you know it was only us two for real. So she always tried to be tough stronger or very yeah. tough. But I see right through that shit. Now. Like she held it down always. Yeah, she held it and down like, always. Yeah. I guess not so much of like the college thing, but just thinking about like, damn, like my baby is like, they're yeah. grown. Now. And and the thing that I struggle with, my, not struggle, but with my mom, like I take care of her a lot because like, you know, she, we don't need a, our moms as much anymore. We just talked about packing lunches. Like she was yeah. like, our mom, our, her everything was like being a mom. Our but kids. now my brother moved out. I'm away half the week. My sister's gone. So my mom is just kind of like, you know, like 
<laughs> so, oh, I know, I know this whole I, I feel that. So, like, when Savon's mother re- recently just moved too, right? Yeah. So yeah. it's like, yeah. I guess not so much literally college, but it's like, yo, my babies don't need me anymore. So that's what I've been mm. thinking about. That's <sighs> a great conversation yeah. to have. Yeah, it's crazy because yeah. my grandmother kind of she. So when I went off to college, I, I was living with my grandparents. I didn't leave from college from my home. Right. I left. I lived with my grandparents through high school, and my grandmother. She was very active in my life. She helped raise me, so I know what you mean by. Wait, where am I needed? Yeah. Valued? You know what I'm saying? Like this has yeah. been my sole purpose, purpose was raising children and raising people mm-hmm. and yeah. being a provider, and now it kind of gets stripped away overnight. You look around and it's like, wait, this is all I know. This is all I've done. Yeah, and I have to adjust to like a new life of of not just like my own, but like mm-hmm. of their own too. It's it's crazy. I'm glad you mentioned that, Reggie, because my mm-hmm. dad, like he had he had me and then he had my sister 16 years apart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. So right when I was going off to college, she got like another kid mm-hmm. to like raise and do oh. what she does. But leading up to that graduation, I could see it in her eyes. Like, wait, this nigga's driving. This yeah. nigga working. Wrong. He doesn't need me to go shopping anymore. And so, yeah, I, I, I get that. Yeah, yeah, but it's like, I've been thinking about that because it weighs on me a lot. Like, every time I leave Dang. for the weekend, I'm like, is my mom lonely? Like, I'm, I'm balancing like, oh, I can't let that. Uh, like I can't live for that, you know. I can't be guilty all the time. Mm-hmm. But then again, it's my mom. Like I, I owe that to her. And yeah. I think, um, I'm like, did your grandma or your yeah? Did your grandma like? I don't know if like my mom just has to find more hobbies. I was, or, like, I was just yeah, about to like say that, you know, that, that's kind of like been my job as I've gotten older, realizing that man, like my mom was super hands on with everything too, well, to an mm-hmm. extent because she worked a lot. Mm-hmm. Not her fault, but. As I got older, I'm realizing, like, damn, I it's I feel like it's my job to show her the things that she might be a fan of. Mm. So as of recently, like, I I put her, I bought her, um, uh, what's the tools for painting? I bought her some brushes and some Aww. canvases, like a paint kit. Canvases, That's yeah. So cute, uh, Alex. No bullshit. So I'm like, yo, because I knew she used to paint a lot in college. Like she was really artistic. She mm-hmm. had a ton of paint. So I'm like, you got to get into that bag. Oh my you god, know? that's so nice. Yeah, that way they can tap into something when we're not around, or yeah. if they're feeling completely bored and sorry. Like, Let me tap into my hobbies. Especially because mm-hmm. you're an only child, so that's like, that's a lot of like responsibility because me i can lean on my brother a little bit i'm like yo can my brother take her out to dinner this night like but like you you're an only child so like that's why i'm always so stressed my immediate family <laughs> i know bro, i know like, you go have, through a lot yeah yeah. don't have kids bro i'm everybody kid and parent <laughs> <laughs> everybody's kid and parent oh, at the same time the same my grandparents they, they got a dog they okay. got a, a small dog <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think it helps. No, legit. My grandmother, like, she spoils this dude. She got, she packs his lunch. Like, she buys him ice cream. Like, wait for I where? Think, like, where's the dog going? The park. Like, if they're if they're going on a cruise <laughs> and he got to go to my crib, <laughs> that is. She'll adorable. pack his lunch. Don't they she meals prep for the dog? Like, they have yeah. pup ice cream, right? Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, she gets all of it. Pup oh, ice yeah. cream. That does help seats, because that you have to stuff. you have to take care of a puppy like it's a baby. So. Yeah, yeah, and you Ooh. get attached to it in the same, yeah. in a similar way. That's mm-hmm. you get attached to it in a similar way. That's oh great. damn! I guess the only fucking solution to this is I gotta have grandkids soon. <laughs> I, I was know. gonna say, I mean, I have to have a child, and then they, because that would I'll, be great for them. Yeah. I was grandkids. gonna say, Reggie, I would. I would. in the black community, <laughs> a lot of people have kids to pass them off to the parents. Oh no, 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 it, no! For me, like my parents, my dad and my mom, like. Since I was little, they've talked about mm-hmm. how they can't wait to be grandparents, and they're gonna be great grandparents. Oh my god, my dad. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. So your I know they would. Kids? You don't have huh? any any children in your family right now, right? My your brother, brother have kids, right? he's married, but okay. you know they're they're at that age where it's gonna happen soon. It's gonna happen. Okay, soon. but not sure. yet. But sure. um, I'm excited because they like we knew they always told us like, yo, when you have kids, please just give them to us. Like we got like we're staying behind to like watch. I love that. Like it's it, yeah, that's, that's definitely fire. a thing for us. Yeah. I love that. They were like, like, you never have them... to worry about um daycare, like babysitter. Like, please Maybe give them to the yeah. grandparents. Yeah. And I feel like it keeps them a little younger as well, mm-hmm. right? Sure. Just younger sure. at heart, having to relearn new kids. Yeah. That's See, fire. my parents, I'm just dropping them off. <laughs> Why? <Fire. laughs> hey, I don't care fire. about. You ain't got to tell me nothing. Right? Y'all gonna get these little niggas. <laughs> yeah. yeah for them. the summers, you going to North Carolina? <laughs> Nobody told your ass to move, ma. All right. <laughs> 
my dad. I don't know about my dad. He got to get a girl first before I can just drop my kids off. Oh my! Uh, he, he, he be playing video games too much. Like me and him be on the game together. Like I don't know, but he's a yeah. he's a great dad. So he's gonna yeah, no, yeah. an amazing he's dad. Gonna, amazing so dad, he, sure. when you drop off your kid, he's gonna be a great grandpa. Yeah, he'll be he'll absolutely, be he'll be and he's gonna be attentive and all of those things. But when I was a kid, I did hear my dad fucking sometimes, and I don't need my kids. <laughs> oh my god! Nah, and I can't nah. ask my dad not to fuck. So nah, nah. we gonna do business hours with granddaddy. <laughs> Oh, nah, not for nothing. This is crazy. And, hey, now nah, I'm gonna share something too. I remember that man that bought me McDonald's and went in my mommy room. Are you? S- <laughs> I remember that nigga. I'm sorry, guys. Two parent household. I, I can't relate. <laughs> I remember, I, I remember that nigga. I was, I was right in that living room. I'm like, what they doing in that room? All right, bro. All right. All right. All right. It's been a neat Yo, Oh, my God. What, a, what a great conversation. <laughs> like, I feel like we just had a really good conversation. Uh, me too. Yeah. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> if y'all are here, there's no reason y'all uh, aren't commenting. Let us know how y'all feel about the Patreon episodes. I know we do have, ah, fuck, I'm so bad with these names. Yeah. But we, we had this young lady just reach out and say that she was tapped into the Patreon. Hey. And she listened to Queen. everything Queen. in that catalog. Queen. Queen. Queenie. Yes, Queenie. Yes, hey. Queenie, Queenie, Queenie. Shout out to you. I remember. Thank you. Uh, thank you for tapping Salute. in. Thank you for engaging. Let us letting us know how you feel about the content, the episode. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we also have an RSS feed feature, which I think we should probably promote, promote. a little bit more. Yeah, uh, Mason Kieran. Um, just letting people know if they don't want to watch it, if they don't like the app, they can um integrate it with their streaming service to kind of just listen to the audio like a normal podcast so right. yeah right. with that being said it's the needs to know podcast what you need to know when you need to know thank y'all for being here we will catch y'all again next week yeah. peace okay